Hi and welcome to MRTV's Developers Commentary, a new show where I play new games and I speak with the developers at the same time. And in this first episode, I'm playing The Curious Tale of the Stolen Pets and I'm talking with Andreas Johansson. Almost. Uh, Julianson. <laughs> Uh, I have I have probably the most complicated surname in Sweden. So. <laughs> no, yeah, sorry, sorry about this, so Andreas Julianson from <laughs> Fast Travel Games. So nice to have you in this first episode. How are you doing? I am doing quite well. You know, considering we only have a few days until the game launches. Oh, so are you excited? I am really excited. You know, we really believe in this game. We believe it's something unique and special to the nice. VR. Nice. Today. So yeah, I, I'm confident and I'm very calm. Oh man, very, very cool. And I'm so happy to have you on this first episode. I can still remember very well when I met you in Stockholm to play Apex Construct, your first game. Yeah, it was like two years ago. <laughs> yeah, wow, time runs. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no. and, and we just got better <laughs> from that time as you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Hopefully, I mean, it's... <laughs> yeah, so your first game was Apex Construct, which was a very cool first-person kind of style shooter where you had this bow and arrow, and it was really fun. Now, you're coming up with The Curious Tale of the Stolen Pets, which is kind of a different game, right? Tell us a bit about it. It's a very different game. I mean, it has no similarities to Apex Construct. Maybe except from you know the focus on interactions and the worlds which is something integral in apex construct as well where you could interact with all the elements and there was a world to really immerse yourself in this is a game focusing completely on worlds like miniature worlds in front of you so okay. there is no combat you know there's no stressful uh features in the game no fail states it's just a game you can enjoy by you know, using your intuition and just immerse yourself in all the details and have fun and experiment with that's all nice the elements and interactions. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, but it's, it's and a different game for sure. Yeah, I can tell already the vibe that I get here right now is completely different than Epic Construct. It feels like um, very cute, very nice. Even here at the beginning, the 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 little girl, she's sitting in the sea <laughs> in the sea here, and she's like the main character. Uh, yeah, I, I'd say she is one of the main characters in the game. She's one of the sisters. So the whole the game takes you back to your childhood adventures, basically. Okay. Where, where you, you and your sister, you know, fell out for different reasons when you were playing with your grandfather. And it's part of the reason to, you know, go through the narrative is to find out why you fell out and what actually happened. So. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah. So I should just start, right? <laughs> I think we should. Even though okay. the, you know, the introduction menu is nice, I think the game is even nicer. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, I should mention the, the music you're hearing as well is uh, from Wintergatan, who is the, the creator of the Marble Machine, which is like, if you haven't seen it on YouTube, uh, I suggest you search for Marble Machine. It's just okay. an amazing uh, machine consisting of 2,000 marbles. Um, okay, cool. So. Right now here, I am uh, in what seems to be like a, a childhood room, like a very cute room. And it's already nice just to be here and to have a look at everything. Yeah, right. I think it's, uh, this is actually your hub in the game. Ah, so okay. In between worlds, you'll get to return to your childhood bedroom and you can you know, see your animal collections and you can see how many allowance money that you found, etc. And you can also you know, just play around with the- uh, Okay, I can take the books. You can pick up the books, you can pick up the seashell and actually okay. to, the, to the ocean if you pull it up to your ear. Uh, oh, this is so cool. Yeah, it it's, works. It's that kind of details that we tried to put into this game. There's a lot of hard. Oh, work, nice. You know what? Game to experiment with. Yeah. If I wouldn't speak with you, I would have never picked up the she seashell and put it to my ear. So no, no. if I, you want to play more games with me, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, probably one out of a hundred people have done that. I okay. Think, when, you know, when trying the game. But it's good that you can do it. That's cool. I know. Can drink some tea here, but no tea there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So this is this is like um, the hop, and uh, actually, 
actually now, if I go to the summer house, probably that's the first level. And yes. what we did not see here right now is the little intro. I have seen that intro when I played it, when I when I just started it for the first time, oh, which yeah. was not now. So the, the p people didn't see it right now, but it's like uh, the grand, your grandfather in an emotional way tells you that, um, yeah, you should go and find the animals. Is this right? Exactly. For some reason, the pets have gone missing. And uh, he basically tasks you to revisit your old childhood imaginative worlds. Oh, and cool! Find all the pets by you know solving these puzzles that we have uh, that we're presenting to the players. So, okay, you know, what you should do right now is just to go to the very first world, which is the summer summer house. house. Okay, yeah. let's do that. And each world has its own sort of story from your childhood and things you did with your grandfather and your sister and all that. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. So I see this very nice world floating here. Let's listen. Okay. And it, it looks incredible in VR. I know yeah. it's, it's an issue when we try to display VR games on a flat screen like this, but it's really something breathtakingly amazing when you have this world in front yeah. of VR. And there is so much life in each world as well. The first world is actually quite much smaller and... Uh, a little bit lighter than the rest of the world. It's so cute. For players to yeah, start having fun. Right. Yes, you can spin the world like you're yeah. doing right now. Yes. And uh, you, wow. basically, you don't really know what to do. Uh, to no, your exactly. Right, <laughs> you see that island to your right. That's basically your uh, collection right now. So you have found okay. zero animals so far. Yeah. And zero coins. So I should find five animals in this place here right now? Yeah, three animals. Where so are you? <laughs> yeah, where okay. are you? Yeah, exactly. Cool. It's, it's not meant to be played in a rush mode, you know. All right, just relax and spend some good time. There are subtle hints in the world for where the animals might be. Mm -hmm. Just basically let your imagination and, and uh, experimental lusts go wild, really, and just, just interact with things to see what happens. Oh, that's cool. You know what? Actually, I think that um, third-person games, they work actually so well in VR. You wouldn't think of it, right? Normally you think, oh, okay, VR, you should do first-person. But this this uh, third person perspective, looking onto a world, yeah. it works so nicely, right? It look, it's so cute to see this in 3D. And um, yeah, I can just remember like one of my favorite games is actually Moss. Yeah. And right now I feel a bit like I'm in this cute Moss world again, honestly speaking. But now I can even <laughs> like turn this around, which is cool. Exactly. So yeah, you can see you have a little sign there, for example. There is a swing and you can just, you know, push the swing oh okay cool and uh okay these little butterflies they don't count as animals right <laughs> they don't sorry you have to find the real animals okay so let's see you know what i just saw here is like a uh, a teapot yeah. and my first uh, my first thought I, I take the teapot mm -hmm. and i put it probably here into the tea into into this into this here into yeah. this cup yeah makes sense yeah Oh, but, okay, it doesn't work. It directly, yeah, okay. Okay, good, that, that probably doesn't work. No, no it might be something else you need to do as well. Yeah, sure, sure, it's okay. Now you saw that you actually pushed uh, the brown leaves into the tea cup. Ah, okay. Which is You're... Uh, a good thing to do. Yes. All right, probably this will totally block block the water from going out. Well. Who knows? It might be. Okay, I'm doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And here, like this, this uh, stone is glittering. Does it mean something? It might be. Try it. <laughs> oh. There you go. Oh, I found pocket money. Yeah, you found your allowance money from your childhood. So uh. <laughs> first of five hidden coins, which are optional to find on each level. Okay. Uh, so you won't you won't just be enough by finding the coins. You need to find the actual animals. In okay, the game. sure. But okay, if you here's... if you if you keep trying that teapot thing, uh, yeah. there's a little there's a little hint to the left of the teacup actually. Yeah, I should totally heat it up. I think. Okay, so uh, let me see. Oh, oh, oh! I see a candle here. Might I be able to heat up the pot? Let's let's try. I mean, this is what I would try first now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it looks a bit red. It's hot now. Let me try now. If I can make some leaf tea or what. There you go. 
you get that little sound like a recognition that you did. Ah, right. okay. Oh, this this was right, yeah. Yeah, that's right so far, and you got the leaves inside, which is great. So there's one more thing you need to do now to here uh, this year the it. the time, the timer. Yeah. Oh yes, what is this? Is this an animal? Oh, this is a submarine. Yes, yes, here we go. <laughs> you found the cat. I found the cat. <clears throat> so that's an example of how puzzles work in a the game. There are, you know, some chain puzzles in all right. the world. You have to figure out. Oh yeah, and you saw your the, sis, the other sister popping up there by the house, looking right. really angry that you found an animal now. So, okay, so the other sister is not on good terms with me. Uh, no, she's not. Okay, okay, I have to find out why. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what is, is this a button here in, in the tree or what is this? Might be. Okay, I clicked the button now. Yeah, you did. And there's some icon on the button which says like a treasure trove. Okay, let's see. Here's a treasure trove. Oh, okay. So I, I opened like one of the three, I've, ah, one of the three buttons. And here's a second button. Okay, let me find the third button then. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. There you go. Yes. Yeah. You oh. Got and you see the sister popping up again now. <laughs> she's really, she seems to be really unhappy. Yeah, she's not happy at all that you found these animals. Okay. And here, downstairs, I could open a door. Yeah. But then, okay, nothing is happening right now. Okay, I have already, I ha only have, no, I have to take the animal. No, 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 you got it. Because it's, oh, no, th oh, that was about the, the money. Oh, I have to find one more animal. Yeah, exactly, one more animal. So I think the, the puzzles here in the first world show a different kind of puzzles. So what you just did was basically looking at uh, items in the world and pushing it. And right. Try, you know, and then you also have the chain puzzle with a teacup and a teapot. And right. The th third one is actually a bit easier to find if you look at the hints in the world. Like okay. Like where, where should there be an animal in the world? Like, where should there be an animal? Let me think. Let me think a moment. Like, where should... <laughs> what kind of animal are we talking about? This looks exactly. like a bear or... Hmm. It's not a bear. Okay. Okay, what kind of animal should we find here? Hmm. Probably perhaps a dog because it's a house and normally there's a dog in the house. Could mm -hmm. this be? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have seen like like 100 people play this game, right? Like, oh. Yeah, this, this specific level, I've seen it hundreds <laughs> of times, yeah. <laughs> Too many times. <laughs> but I never get tired of playing it. I mean, it's something something really cool to be inside this and then just... Yeah, it's it's very relaxing, you know? I feel I think it's very relaxing. Here, here, here. This is yeah. a hint, right? Yeah. This is like, I uh, hear, I found there the dog. Go. There you go. That was basically sort of an easy thing. And you can, sw you can swing the dog as well. Oh, this is cute. So he comes happy when he's swinging. Nice, nice. All cool. Right. So so the found all the animals in the first world. Now the coins are optional. You can either stay and try to find them. Or no, let's go, let's go to the next level. Can we? Yeah, you can always return to previous worlds when, once you've finished them. So okay. Or any time, really. Okay. So what you do now is basically, and I think you missed the tutorial in the beginning. But I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a clock at the island to your right. But I, I go to it, yeah? It's ringing now because you found all the animals. So you okay. just uh, push that and then you get, yeah, return to your childhood bedroom. Nice. And up there, you see your little sticky board. Sticky okay. board? Up to your right. 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 Ah, yeah, here. All oh, the animals are there now. Yeah. So you have your little collection of animals. And oh, have, cute. Yeah, and the, the glass, the glass thing with your uh, allowance money in it as well. Oh, nice. Okay, four coins. Probably, I cannot get a headset for it. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot get a VR headset for that money. So yeah. I need to get. <laughs> I need to get more. Maybe so a maybe cardboard. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's cardboard. Oh, winter vacation. Let's try this one. It was actually, I think, my, if not my favorite world, at least one of the, my, my top worlds. Oh, wow. This is freaking beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 
Wow. It's, it's seasonal as well now, you know, you feel winter's coming outside. Exactly. It, it totally fits to the weather outside now. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. Thanks. Yeah. We, I mean, the art team has done an amazing job. I think the, the animations of the characters, we're using this stop animation. Yeah, which makes it look like a you know cartoon TV show from the '80s a bit. Okay. Through how they move around. Right. It's like a clay animation almost, and then yeah, the whole the whole art team is just amazing and so you know, much art going into these worlds. Ah, oh, this is so nice. For all the viewers who are watching this right now, you can only get an idea to see this in 2D, right? But if you see this floating in front of you right now, like I see it right now, ah, oh, this is so nice. And everywhere like now, the snow is falling. Mm -hmm. puts you into really this this nice and festive mood already that we start to have here in Europe, right? <laughs> it's getting colder. I mean, you're from Sweden and in Sweden probably it's always this cold. Always. But <laughs> it's always like this, right? Yeah, we have one or two days of some. some, some <laughs> right. Oh, cool. I is this sugar here? Sugar? Uh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, wow. That's cool. And there's a snowman. Probably, uh, probably I can build a snowman with this sugar. Let me try a bit. Okay, I can tell already. I can feel the vibe of this game. Trying out cool things and finding out funny things that you thought of. Like there's a hair dryer, it seems. And this hair dryer is, it's like um, in ice, it seems, right? Yes, you can't get to it. Yet. Can't get to it yet. Okay, I, I'm just having a look around without really. Right. Which is right? exactly how you should. Be. Exactly, that's exactly that's perfect. So let's talk a bit about the game. It's coming out for all of the headsets, and it's um, how expensive is it going to be? We have actually priced it quite modestly. It's uh, fourteen ninety nine dollars. Oh, that's that's and really good. And euros the same, fourteen ninety nine. So across all platforms. So nice. this this was a and it still is a passion product from our studio. It's made by a smaller team at Fast Travel Games. So you know we have there's a lot of attention to detail. There's a lot of quality in the game. I found one. Oh, you <laughs> did. It's a lamp. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, it's, uh, you know it's not a game where you have hundreds and hundreds of levels and 50 hours of gameplay. It's more of an interactive narrative driven tale. Okay. With, with all these worlds that are have so many details and interactions in them. I think it's, uh, yeah, the core experience is something we're super duper happy with. Nice. And yeah, I can, I can feel the vibe. I can feel the vibe. It's nice. And actually, uh, in, we had a little talk before, before this recording, and you told me that, yes, this game can be played by children. However, it is not like a children's game. Yeah. You, also, you also want and believe that, that the grown-ups like, like us yeah, can play this and will enjoy it, right? I think so. I mean, you know, first speaking of children, I'm not I'm not going to talk against any age recommendations or whatever set by first party or, you know, the platform owners. That's totally up to them and any, any parent can decide what to do. But my kids of five and seven have played this game. <laughs> my wife has played this game and they love it equally as much as do I. So I think, you know, the cuteness of the characters is something that relates a lot to children. Uh, the emotional story and a sense of wonder and you know this childlike wonder mm -hmm. is something that relates to to grown-ups and actually some of the puzzles are actually quite challenging so okay i see it not, now already yeah exactly exactly it's not a hardcore puzzle game so we don't expect you to have to go through a bunch of walkthroughs online to, to figure them out but people do actually get stuck a little here and there and then they have just have to keep trying things and trying to figure out what to do next and eventually you proceed in the game so I, yeah. I really do think it's a game that, regardless of age or gaming preferences, you the chances are pretty high that you will be amazed by this experience. So I, yeah. I urge anyone to give it a try, um, because it really comes to its own right when you put it uh, inside a VR headset. Yeah, I I can just I can totally um, second that. It looks so nice, and I can tell now that now the puzzles start to pick up a bit. Like the first one, okay, yep, it was pretty pretty simple but now i can tell i need to destroy this ice somehow and i, I just found this guy here and yeah there's a hammer so yeah. i suppose i need to bring this down down somehow yes. and here also um yeah i have to change the direction of the trains and probably i can stop the train somehow let me just try this here if i can stop the train like this oh i can let's see 
can, um, yeah. But probably I'm stopping the wrong train right now if this train is coming. So let's see if I can, can I change something here? I think I can change where the train goes. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, this is cute. Now, but yeah, like I said, you do need the other carriage as well. Yeah, exactly. Let me try to, let me try. Oh, oh, oh it, I, I cannot just move it down like this. Yeah, I cannot. Yeah. So, uh, you know, minor spoiler for anyone who's watching, since, you know, part of the joy here is to figure out the puzzles yourselves. But there is actually another way to stop the train on top in the tunnel. Ah, yeah, here. There you go. Here, right, exactly. Okay, that's a minor spoiler. I think they they would have found out themselves. Maybe. <laughs> so, uh, so then, as the train stops now, you can. Yeah, you, you just start it as well. You can connect the other. Right. To the train. So now, now I. Oh yeah, now this changed to green. Yeah, we we totally don't want to spoil more. Yeah. And I think I think <clears throat> really I think we should stop it here, <laughs> because. I think the wonder is to, to figure this out yourself, right? And if we'd like show them everything now, we would spoil the game. Would you agree? I, I agree. I mean, I would love to show the rest of the world as well. Right. Uh, they are so different and, you know, amazing from my very unbiased point of view. <laughs> but, uh, let's say since it's only, you know, it's coming out in just a couple of days. And, you know, if you want to, you can, you can play the whole game as well uh, at launch. I right. To say that you know, I'm very happy so far for the recognition we've gotten from the game. We we actually won an award for it. Okay. Uh, back in September in uh, Rain Dance Film Festival, where we oh were cool. Picked. Yeah. So the Curious Tale was picked as best immersive game on that festival, and it was quite tough competition from games like No Man's Sky and Doctor Who: The Edge of Time, and we actually won our category, which was the biggest gaming category, and and came home to Sweden with a really nice prize. Uh, and it, it, it said something, I think, uh, that we managed to convince the jury like that uh, by just putting the game in front of them, really, and letting them try it. So, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, coming out in just a few days. Um, I don't know exactly when this is going to air, but it's... it's I, think, I think this is going to air probably today or tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so very soon. Very soon, yeah. So, I mean... Give it a try, you know, it, it definitely fills a role, I think, in, the, in you know, in the world of amazing shooters and uh, <laughs> right. shooters out there. This is an, another kind of experience that has a natural role in anyone's uh, VR cat catalog. So, yeah, wow. so for the team here at Fast Travel, so happy for all the players that actually get to enjoy this game as well. Nice. Thank you so much, Andreas. I'm going back to the hub world to to end this. Yep. Um, yeah, dear viewers of the MRTV Developers Commentary, I totally hope that you enjoy this new format. And please do let me know in the comment section below how do you like this new format and which games, which new games do you want me to play together with the developers? So for this game, it feels so, yeah, so cute, so cozy. And definitely that's something totally different to all the shooters and all the rhythm games that we're playing right now. And I have a good feeling about it. So this is going to come out on the 14th of November for $15 and 15 euros on all of your headset. And I would also say, give it a try. Thank you so much, Andreas, for being Thank here you. in the first episode. I hope you enjoyed it a bit as well. Yeah, it was a pleasure. <laughs> it was a pleasure. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. And uh, yeah, all the best to, to you. And please send my best greetings to all the team at Fast Travel Games. Really enjoy your games a lot. And I'm looking forward to play this game. I have it now for free. It's good to be <laughs> MRTV. <laughs> and, and I'm looking forward to all of your upcoming games. And I'm sure this is not going to be your last game. No, no, we have another game coming before Christmas as well. So. Oh, wow. Wow, you guys are so busy. Yeah, Looking for... we, can, we can play that as well. You know, Budget yeah. Cuts 2 is coming out on December 12th. What, what's, the, what, what's the name of the other game? Uh, Budget Cuts. The sequel oh, yeah, of course. Budget Absolutely. Cuts. Sure. So we, we're, we're making that together with Need Corporation. Exactly. Coming on December 12th. So we're, we're, we're busy at the moment, but it's all good. Nice, nice. It's good to be busy. So, yeah. yeah, we can do the same thing again with Budget Cuts too. Once you're ready, just let me know and we can do the developer's commentary for Budget Cuts too. Thank you so much, Andreas. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. 
That's wow. right. And if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MOTV yet, do so now and do leave your comment on the developer's commentary. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.